hello. My name is Sharon Cousin and I'm here from Blue Willow Dog Coats and I'd like to show you how to measure a dog to order a coat. This is Geneva and I'm just going to go through the measurements one, two, three. So one is the circumference of the head and basically you want to measure at the largest point around. And this one is 13 around. Two is the elbow to elbow. This determines how long the coat is going to be. So we go from one elbow over the shoulder to the other elbow, and this one is 23. The third measurement, the third measurement is the neck to tail, so the base of the neck where it connects to the body. Geneva would like to take a nap here. Stand up. The base of the neck to the base of the tail, in this case is 22 inches. The next measurement, four, is the waist. The waist at the narrowest point may not be where we want to measure because the tummy warmer, if you're getting a tummy warmer, or the band, we may want closer to the head. So calculate. If it's a male, you want to measure in two to, two to four inches in front of their privates. And even if it's a female, you still may not want it to go all the way back. So measure around where you want the tummy warmer to end or the band to, to connect to the coat. And here, she's about 17 inches around. Number five is the weight. The weight, just enter the weight of your, of your dog. Um, number six is gonna be the underbelly. And this goes from the base, the base of the neck under, under the chest, under the tummy, and to the point that you measured the waist around, which is the point where the tummy warmer ends or the band connects. So in this case, it's 17 and a half. So this, this measurement, the, this is number seven, the chest width, width of chest is confusing sometimes, but we want it just to be in the front. We don't want it to wrap around. So you go from the middle of one, leg bone to the middle of the other leg bone across, straight across, no wrap around. And this is about five and a half inches for her. But remember, just, just straight across the front. Right. Number eight is the, the length of the neck, sorry, oops, there's a B. The length of the neck is from the base of the neck to the base of the ears. And in her case, it's going to be seven inches. Base of the neck to the base of the ear. And this is to determine how long the collar is. I add, this is not where the end of the collar will be, I always add some additional inches depending on how large or small the dog is. If it's a small dog, I add two inches. And if it's a larger dog, it's going to be three, four, and giant dog's a five inch. And that gives the, the extra fleece that can cover their ears and protect them in the winter. Um, so the last measurement, number nine, is the, the circumference of the neck. And this is just to make sure that we have, because some dogs have much thicker necks than they have heads, um, we want to make sure that it's comfortable when the coat is actually all the way on. So for this dog, the, the uh, measurement around is 13 and a half to 14, but it was more the last time. Nope, 14. Mm -hmm at the base of the neck. It's always, you want to measure around at the base of the neck, the thickest part of the neck. So that's it. You measure those, we get a, a well-fitting coat. Thank you.